Hello everyone and welcome back to more mail, this time for the month of February 2020. Uh, this mail month is going to be a little, a little weird, a little different, um, in some ways similar to how last month's mail video was a little different. Um, this was the month that Sagan passed away, and he passed away on the 20th, which is, you know, two-thirds of the way into the month, so there's going to be a wide variety of things that we get, I'm sure, that make different references to Sagan. There's going to be some in which he was still alive, there's going to be some in which he is passed, and um, like we said at the beginning of January, we don't want anyone to feel bad that they sent something unaware of the future, because how would you have known anyway? But I wanted to start, um, not with a featured letter, but by saying thank you to the immense amount of people that sent us uh, letters, cards, um, etc. Th there is so much stuff here, like I can't even adequately show. It's like <laughs> it's this huge pile of like sympathy cards. Um, so many people made donations to the Humane Society, um, either our local one or to um, like the national national one mm -hmm. or um, to specialty ones or to specialty ones mm -hmm. like the uh, animal cancer foundation or society i forget what the the name of it is um but just so many people sending cards sending like writing letters um talking about their own experiences with uh with their grief and losing animals and and sharing that and um you know i'm i'm not going to lie to you uh it, some of it was a little difficult to read, um, appreciated. But, but very appreciated. Um, and it, it just, it means the world to me that, you know, for some of you, when Sagan passed, your first thought was, I'm going to reach for a pen and paper or card and send something in. Um, that means a lot. So I, I sincerely appreciate it. And um, I, I know that there were a few people in the letters, in the cards, that wanted to know specifically um, if there was a place that we wanted them to donate towards. And, uh, I mean, just helping animals in general is, is wonderful, um, whether you're doing that through Humane Society or um, and any of these national groups that are they're helping animals. Uh, if anyone is interested in helping very, very specifically the uh, place that we got... Uh, Sagan and Kepler, and actually Rocco from, uh, the name of that uh, shelter is Cattails, and they are in Sun Sunset? Sunset? I think it's Sunset Beach, North Carolina. What's the other town right there? Because I think that's what it actually is. It's Sunset Beach? No, no, the other town. Oh. Ocean Isle? Ocean Isle. Ocean Isle Beach? I think it's Ocean Isle. Probably could have looked that up right before we started, but um, yeah, it's it's called Cattails, and uh, if anyone's interested in donating very specifically to that, you can. Um, but again, just helping the the general wel welfare of animals worldwide is um, wonderful. And uh, again, like we talked about in the January video, obviously, like that happened, and then also <laughs> the world has experienced a a crisis. So like, so much has happened in a month. And um, it's it's just been it's been a crazy time. But we wanted to to start this video before we get to the packages and say thank you to everyone who sent stuff. This was um, really wonderful, and we appreciate it. Now, on a brighter note, we'll get started on our packages. And the first package we have is from Australia, and it has like the cutest washi tape on it. That's what it's about. Cute washi Cute tape. Cute washi tape. All right, All so right. there's... Protective cardboard. A little leather here. Or two little leathers? That's... This looks more like the letter. Oh, that's the leather. Here. This is... Some, I'll, I'll hold on to this. Let me let me look at the leather Here's first. Here's another then. one of them. There's the letter. Okay. All right, let's see here. Um, good day, Stephen Mao and Cutie Kepi. Sorry for another long letter. Since the last time, I'm happy to say that I've recently graduated with high distinctions, so now I'm totally qualified to do graphic design. Honestly, if you need it, I'm happy to help offload anything graphic related. As always, please enjoy the illustrations inspired by my favorite recent Let's Plays, Super Mario Sunshine, Kirby Star Allies, and Zelda Link's Awakening. 
I'll admit I actually haven't been practicing watercolors for an entire year, so I'm sorry if these took if these look a little rough. I'm rusty. Among my other favorites were Resident Evil 6, Smash Ultimate, and Edith Finch. In the process of making this leather package, uh, some sad news from the vlog happened in February. I cried a lot that week. I never realized how the life of a cat that I've that uh, I've never met would affect me so much, but I guess that's what makes the vlog so special. It's funny that after the news, I immediately gravitated uh, to your Let's Plays for comfort. I could say so much, but I don't want this. I don't want to get this letter soggy. So instead, I've added a few extras to, cele to celebrate the Fluffy Boys, which is a good name for them. As a stationary addict myself, of course I had to add stickers and some washi tape samples for Mouse Techo. And I guess Steven too, if he decides he wants cutesy decorations for himself. I hope the theming is obvious enough. Wish I could send more, but until next time, sending all my love and support to you guys and baby Kep Kep from Ochi Brochi. Ochi Brochi, thank you. Um, fun fact, I'm, I'll, I'll wrap Mao out on this. Uh, Mao recognized your handwriting on the outside of the envelope. There was no name. There was no, there was no name on the outside, mm -hmm. and Mao looked at the handwriting and said, "This looks like Ochi Brochi." So. <laughs> You have very good handwriting and also really very, beautiful. very distinctive handwriting because Mal recognized it, which I think is um, really cute. Also, I love the little illustration on the back there. I already held up these three, but I know oh you my god, didn't I haven't seen them. them. Oh my lord! So people have seen that. This is these are so good. Ochi Brochi has sent us some absolutely fantastic pieces of art. I guess you've already shown these. But, yeah, um, but now I get now to, you get to gush over them. I get to fawn over them. Oh my lord! Wow. <laughs> Wow. Sorry. I, I Again, you've already seen these, but I'm like, but look, look! <laughs> God, that's so good. <laughs> oh, rubbings. Oh, rubbings. Sometimes you're down in the dungeon and you find self-rubbings in a chest. I didn't show this one yet. Oh, uh, oh my God. Oh my God, I love this so much. I love this so, so much. It says Astronic Hats at the bottom. And uh, on the back it says, Couldn't find a good reference for Sagan's Tabby Beans. Feel free to paint over with a more accurate color. I use gouache, but maybe acrylic will also work. Same with Kepi if he has any spots. It's so cute. It's very cute. It's very, very cute. And this one says, um, this is printed on sticker paper, so you can cut them out and use them as stickers. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Ah, these are... This is Rocco. I know. These are so good. These are so good, and they're they're all customized to our boys. Look at this. They're saying it's a PS3. <laughs> Can't be it's a bug. You're going to wake him up. He's in my lap asleep. It's just, these are, like, this is so far above and beyond what I, I would have even ever expected someone to do, and I just really appreciate it. Like, these are, these are so wonderful. These are so so good. Oh my goodness! And there's and even the, like the pants on a cat reference with Rocco. Oh, wow. I love the I love the little <laughs> pouch one with Sagan. It just says not fat because I had to explain that once. Man. Okay. Wow. 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 That was wow. just what was on that. And then so in here mm -hmm. are um, the uh, I'll let you open that one and I'll open this. These are just uh, are they flakies? There's all sorts of stuff for your techo. Like, oh boy! Like all Sorry, sorts Kepler. of all sorts of stuff. Like little uh, kitty tape. Little kitties. And like, oh my goodness! Oh, these are cute. This is Kirby themed. There's <gasps> Chef Kawasaki and Kine and Rick That's and awesome. DDD and and Mennonite. This these is are this so is great. Cute. There's some um, uh, there's some Pokemon stuff here. And then uh, Neko Atsume, there's a lot of that. And then just little like flowers and stuff. It's, uh, mm. Oh, and this was the stuff on the envelope that I really liked. Well, well, there you go, now you have some. Ochibrochi, thank you. Like, I, I mean, I, on, on behalf of Mao, I know that she appreciates all this stuff, but like, I'm, I'm, I've been continually blown away by the art that you've sent in. And it, it's so good. You have such a, a very distinct style, and I'm I'm absolutely in love with with these. Um, these are just so wonderful. Oh man. 
God, I, I love the paw print one too. I do. It's just, we have, we have all of your artwork in a, uh, we, and I, we've talked about this before, but one of the, the saddest things is that we've never gotten any artwork up at this house. Mm -hmm. Like none, there's not a single piece of artwork up in this house and it's ridiculous, but we have all of your artwork saved um, because we, we loved it so much. We're like, we're gonna, we're gonna frame this and put this up and we haven't put up anything in this house, but we still have it. And um, these pieces are marvelous as well. I really like the little paw I prints. Too. I really like the paw prints. Thank you. I, I, you know, I, I'll never be able to put into words how much I appreciate stuff like this. You want to see it too, huh? You want to see this? He's sniffing the other ones. Can can you smell the watercolors? Is that it? Can you see your own, your own paws? Is that it? That's probably it. <laughs> Again. Ochi Brochi, thank you. So next up we have a, um, a little tiny envelope from uh, Dragon Keep Creations. And uh, inside, it's, uh, it's from Rachel. It says, Dear Grandparents, I've been watching your videos for years since the first Minecraft series and wanted to send you a little something in appreciation. Chronic Illness has me stuck on a couch a lot, but your Let's Plays and painting videos are just the thing to entertain as well as provide a pleasant background for working on art projects. I'm a needle felting artist, and recently I made a tiny Peggy during one of your Friday streams, and then decided to add Sagan and Kepler too. I hope you enjoy them, just keep them away from the real kitties. Cats and dogs usually try to eat wool. From Rachel, aka Snowfox102. Oh my goodness. It's tiny Peggy. The tiniest Peggy. The tiniest Peggy. The tiniest. A wee. <laughs> it's so cute. It, it's so it's so precious and small that I'm worried that I'm gonna like break it. I'm, I'm trying to be like extra careful with it. It's so small. Look at little Kempy. Look at him. Oh, that's so, it's cute. so cute. It's so so cute. And then Sagan's in there too. Uh huh. Aww. Oh, I love oh. it. <laughs> He's so tiny. I can't get him to stand up. He's adorable. There we go. That's so cute. Rachel, he has thank all you. Little stripes. Thank you so much. I can only imagine how difficult it is to do this tiny. That wor work on that small of a level. It's so so tiny, but these are these are so adorable and I love them. I love them so much. And I have to put them in a very like special spot that Kepler kept... does go after wool, so. Yeah. And any small object yeah. If it's if it's small specifically, it belongs on the floor. <laughs> if it's big, it's not a problem. He's never pushed like a cup over, but like tiny objects? Oh. Yeah. Floor. Contact cases. All the time with the contact cases. I can't get him to stop <laughs> doing that. Anyway, Rachel, this is wonderful and uh, I sincerely appreciate it. Next up we have a package from Jen in Calgary. And there's a, there's a letter in there. There we go. And letter says, Dear Stephen Amell, Hi, my name is Jen, also known as Gwindamir on Twitch. Okay, hi. <laughs> I recognize usernames mm -hmm. uh, uh, most, most all the time. Uh, I found these Wii games in a bargain bin in Canadian Tire, of all places. Is it an automotive shop? What? Like O'Reilly's? I mean, I assume... It's a tire shop because it's called Canadian Tire. Yeah, like O'Reilly's. Anyway, and saw the opportunity to add to your collection. I love being a part of your community, and thanks to Breakfast Stream, I not only have found uh, my sleep schedule again, but also many friends. It really does feel like I'm sitting down to breakfast with many friends twice a week. Mal, you're an amazing artist and teacher. You have not only inspired me to keep drawing and doodling, but you have also taught me so much about painting I never knew. Thank you for being so kind and always answering my questions. Thank you both for all the entertainment over the years. Can't wait for this year's Extra Life. Cheers, Jen. Thank you, Jen. And so we have Animal Kingdom Wildlife Expedition. It's a Natsume game. Weird. Never heard of this. And Ben 10 Omniverse 2. And and the, these are sealed. These are sealed. <laughs> and I last month we had some sealed Wii games as well. And just the fact that we're getting sealed Wii games is just totally bizarre. <laughs> Although... 
I have seen sealed Wii games before. I remember uh, at one of at one of our local WalMarts not mm -hmm. that long ago. There were Wii games. We found some Wii games that were still being sold like as new, and I was like, "What year is it?" But it's it. This is a much more interesting story because um, these were the tire shop. <laughs> I've never heard of this, and it's a Natsume game. Yeah. Animal Kingdom, and it's like a the the front cover is really bizarre because it looks cartoony. And on the back, it's like photorealistic animal safari. So I, it's a very misleading cover for what the game actually is. But uh, thank you, I appreciate it. And we'll definitely add them to the collection. Thank you, Jen. Next up, we have a package from Mickey in Wilmington, North Carolina, which is actually- Not that far. Not that far away. Here you go. About an hour or so. Uh, this says, uh, hi, Stephen Amount. I hope this package was able to arrive to you guys okay. I'm not sure if you've tried this flavor yet, but nonetheless, hope you enjoy. Love, Mickey. Ooh, and this is... A sweet cinnamon. Sweet cinnamon. Have we tried this yet? I don't think we have. I think we did. Really? Mm-hmm. But I really liked it because I love cinnamon. It's actually funny because um, earlier today... Was it? It was today, it was right? It was today. This, it was this morning. Yes. Um, what were you having? You were having apple jam. I had um, a sandwich with cashew butter and apple jam. And Mal was like, I'm, I need to get some cinnamon because I love cinnamon so well, much. So you know you go to the brunch places and they have the little jams? There's one we go to at Mama Jean's and they have apple cinnamon smuggers and you can't buy it in the store, but you can get apple jelly. So I just put some cinnamon. Wait, you can't buy it in the store? Mm -mm. You can't buy it in like they a- They don't sell it in a jar. Oh. And if you look on Amazon, they sell the little things. And that's it. And all the comments are like, why can't we buy this in a jar? That's really weird. Uh -huh. So Smuckers decided to only sell them in the little restaurant packets. Yeah. Anyway, the point of that is that cinnamon is good. Mallory really loves cinnamon, and I love cinnamon too. And these are good. I don't remember having those, but also I think at this point we've had a lot of them, mm -hmm. so maybe that's why I can't remember them all the time. Either way, a whole bag of cinnamon sounds great to me. Yeah. Appreciate it, Mickey. Thank you. Next up, we have a box from Bradley in Woodland Hills, California. And... It, Letter right a, on top. It's a cute little box, and it looks like there are some Kit Kats Ooh. in there. So, this letter says... Um, Dear Stephen Mao, thank you for your hard work and dedication in creating vlogs, artwork, and gameplay related videos. Your overall lax nature and consistent quality is nothing short of inspirational. Please enjoy these Kit Kats that I purchased during my trip in Japan. I hope that these are a flavor you both enjoy, and if they're not, well, don't be afraid to say so. I won't take offense. From Bradley, aka aka Yo Schiller. Yo Schiller. Yo Schiller. Thank I you. actually I actually saw some of the um, photos of your trip that you had uh, that you had posted. We have not had these. What kind are those? Peach. We haven't had peach. No. You'd think that like a very basic, like peach, that we would have had by now, but no. Also. You've got such a good memory that you can remember what we have and haven't consumed. Yeah. <laughs> at least you're at least you're you're modest about it. And I like peaches, so I'm excited. Yeah. Uh, well, first off, Bradley, thank you. Um, I love Kit Kats, and I also love peaches. And actually, since Animal Crossing has come out, that just makes me think of like, Animal Crossing. Animal Cro I see the peach, and I'm like, oh, I need to sell that to Tom Nook and get 500 bells. Uh, Yo Schiller, I, uh, I hope that you're doing well. I see that you uh, pop into Breakfast Stream every once in a while. Mm -hmm. And um, I hope that your trip to Japan was good. And I hope that these are delicious. And I don't know that yet because we haven't tried them, but I suspect so. The only Kit Kats I really haven't liked. Yeah. And I think people know if they've watched the vlog. The only ones I really don't like are the rum ones. Or sake. Or so, yeah, anything that, that infuses the alcohol? Any sort of alcohol flavor, I just don't like because I, I don't drink alcohol because I can't get past the smell. And like, that, it's the exact same thing. When I go to eat the rum raisin one, I'm like, this is disgusting. I can't stand this. So I think that I'll probably do real good with peach. And I like peaches in real life too. Bradley, appreciate it. Next up, we have a package from Lara in Sanford, North Carolina. There we go. You almost had the tape off. Almost. Almost. So inside, there's a little leather right on top. And this says, uh, hi, Stephen Amal, how are you? We met outside the Johnny D's this past October. Oh! oh! 
I was surprised to have met you and the gang in person. It really made my day. I found these games at my local GameStop and thought you could use them in the collection. Thanks for making such great content. Uh, sincerely, Laura from Sanford. Uh, so this is this is funny. Um, some folks may actually remember that vlog, and I couldn't remember exactly when it was, but it was October. Um, <laughs> we didn't have any context in the video. It's just at the end of the video, uh, I think Laura does the outro. Yes. And there's no other context. And it's because we had uh, went to Johnny D's for lunch bunch, and you know they close at two, and we had stayed until two, and then we, we went outside and we were still just kind of chatting. It's hard to make us all leave. It we're, is. we're just in the parking lot talking. It is. So we're we're in the parking lot just chatting, and uh, Lara had been a, across the street. Yeah. And you know was was visiting the area uh, with her family. And basically, like, looked over and was like, is that, like, lunch punch happening right before my eyes? So, uh, Lara came over, and we got a chance to, uh, meet her, and, you know, she did the... The outro? The outro. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's just really great. It's just really great to actually get a letter, because... That, that allows me to tell the rest of that story because otherwise people might be like, what, what happened? But that happens sometimes. Um, a lot of times, uh, if there is some weird out of context clip, that's normally the that's story. That's usually what happened is we had a chance to, to meet someone and just decided to include it in that fashion. Um, and I think it's fun for people because then they get to be, you know, be a part of the vlog if they want. Obviously, they're not forced to, but if they're interested, then we'll let them do that. All right, so uh, let's take a look at what Laura sent. So there's uh, Celebrity Sports Showdown for Wii, Dawn of Discovery. Is that the Tales game? No, that's a different game. There's just a game called Dawn of Discovery. Okay, I was thinking there's a Tales game with a similar title. Uh, the Hip Hop Dance Experience. Not to be confused with the Black Eyed Peas Experience, which I hear is... Um, it's made by really great people. Monster High 13 Wishes. Rayman Raving Rabbids 2. SmackDown vs. Raw WWE 2009. Uh, Tomb Raider Underworld. Rock Band Trek Heck Classic Rock. That is very hard to say. It's a mouthful. That is absolutely a mouthful. Uh, Laura, thank you. Sincerely appreciate it. Continuing to, uh, you know, work towards the completion of Wii. Everything's gotten a little more complicated with, uh, you know, the virus, but we're still working at it. And uh, you know, as soon as it's, as soon as it is safe to explore once again, we will be exploring to find more games uh, to try and still work towards the goal of finishing by, you know, late October. Keeping our fingers crossed. And um, you know, when when folks send stuff in, it sincerely helps. So. Laura, thank you, and uh, I, I'm so glad that that experience happened in October because, um, you know, th I don't think that's happened during a lunch bunch. No. I don't think so. I think that was the first time that happened during a lunch bunch, mm -hmm. and uh, I think it was really exciting for our group, too. They are like, man, that can just happen, and I'm like, yeah. yep, <laughs> it totally can. Next up, we have a, uh, a pretty reasonably sized box, but very heavy. Yes from uh, Ann and Crystal in uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. They've sent things in um, qu quite quite often before. Uh, there's there's letters, like uh, cards here, and then a card both. for both. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is great. There's, there's a certificate, and it says, certified mold free. And the reason is there are uh, there's Wii games in here, and I, I think we actually talked about this last month on Mail. Yeah. But um, there had been a game that we bought uh, from store. It was one we bought. It was one that we bought. Yeah. <laughs> we. Games. Are... <laughs> it was a Wii game that we bought uh, that actually had mold in it, and we didn't realize, and the cats figured it out, and then we had to toss the game. So this says certified mold free. The games contained in this box have been tested by our lab and are hereby guaranteed free of mold, mildew, and other contaminants. Note that they may contain a small proportion of drool, but this is a normal part of the testing process. Should your games at any future point develop water damage infestation by living organisms or possession by evil entities, including but not limited to ghosts, ghouls, poltergeists, spooks, haunts, demons, or cats, please contact us for a full refund of the purchase price, complimentary kitty treats, and if necessary, referral to a qualified exorcist. And uh, the the lab is funny because the lab is 
their lab. Brando. <laughs> and also, Brando signed his name, which is impressive. And they traced the paw print. And they have the little paw print. Uh, well, thank you. Um, let's take a look at these cards. There's a card for you, Mal. Uh-huh. Is that mine? This is yours. Oh. It has a little, cute little, cute little kitty cat on it. I'll give that to you. While I open mine. If you wanna, if you wanna read that, you can. So this is a birthday card, and it says, Happy birthday, Mal. Celebrate like a cat today. Eat, sleep, ignore everyone who annoys you. Oh, no. I don't have a shot. <laughs> <laughs> And then uh, mine says, Grandpa, I know you're not allowed to have a favorite grandchild. At <laughs> least not publicly. Just give me a wink and confirm my suspicions, okay? You gotta open it and close it, cause like... Washa! <laughs> Washa! That's, uh, that is absolutely fantastic. Oops, I got his, I got his finger stuck on his chin. <laughs> Which happens to me all the time. Yeah, it's it's a cru cr cruel disease. And then finally, after reading birthday cards, we have our actual letter. And this says, Happy month of the anniversary of your births, oh grandparents. I know this is being sent in February, but assuming you're on schedule with mail videos, that means you're opening it in March, just a few days before Animal Crossing New Horizons comes out. So much excite. So much excite. So much excite. Steven, when you pronounced the title of the CD from our last package, there was a distinct three good moment at our house. Please repeat after me. You be la latte. I mean, that's what, how I would read L A T T E. It's probably not intent. Lat, maybe lat. Deo. Three that, good. Three good. That is how to pronounce the Latin phrase uh, jubilat. Jubilat deo. Lat. Jubilat. You jubilat de deo. Rejoice in God. Also, anus dei is how to say Agnes Dei, or Lamb of God. Uh, probably should have included phonetics in the first place, given how often people mispronounce Crystal's French origin last name. We'll know for next time. Onward to the contents of this package. More shirts, since you enjoyed the last pair we sent so much. The, the one sized for Mao is quite retro, and the one for Steven is supposed to be ironic, but in your case, it's just a statement of fact. Also, some candy from a shop down at the Strip District. Please let Mao pronounce this one. Mon ami chocolat. It says chocolate, but that, type. that would be the French. <laughs> Two of the packages and flavors seemed appropriate, while the third just made us laugh. Finally, we have a small electronic device which we hope will solve a common problem on Breakfast Stream. We thought of sending two, but one means you get to battle over it, which is more entertaining for us. Yes, we are terrible, terrible people, but you knew that already. And then, of course, there are the games. One of our local game stores must have a must have received a big sale of Wii games without cases, since they have a ton of them out on the shelves in little yellow sleeves. We've spent a couple hours, uh, a couple fun hours over the past few Saturdays, flipping through the discs and comparing them to your list online. And the proceeds are enclosed. These games are also pre-sniffed for your convenience to avoid a repetition of the moldy game discovery. Crystal sent you a photo of the process via Twitter. Check for tested by our lab and at Chrissy G, if you don't recall. Uh, we have added a certificate of the process to this box, suitable for framing and display, or just general amusement as you prefer. That's all for now. Loved many of the currently recent vlogs and streams. Emil steals parked car, drives around following traffic laws. Massey yanks guy out of 18-wheeler, runs over every pedestrian she can find. Very telling, no? Also enjoyed the little arc in the vlogs in which the High Heel Gang conspired to keep Mao's untitled Goose Game painting close to home. The looks on your parents' faces were amazing in the best way possible. Looking forward very much to all our continuing adventures. As ever, pets to felines, greetings to family and friends, and let's meet back next time, shall we? Thank you. Um, I sincerely uh, appreciate it, and I'm looking forward to all of the amazing things that are in this box. This box is very dense. Yes. Like. It's it's not a terribly large box. It's, it's extremely full. heavy. So I want you both to give yourselves a round of applause for being honorary Tetris champions, because that's a that's a real world skill. Um, so this is Barbie and her sisters. Barbie has sisters. Yeah. What's what's the main? What was the first one? Jamie Spears. No. <laughs> That's Britney Spears' sister. Oh. Right? <laughs> yeah, I guess that would make sense. Spears would make Skipper. sense. Skipper. Skipper, Stacy, and Chelsea. 
or they Skipper's knew. Skipper's the one. They, I, no, oh. Skipper's been around a long time. Okay, that doesn't. Anyway, they rescue puppies, so that sounds nice. Um, we get the Wii U game Injustice: Gods Among Us. Uh, NBA Live 09 I'll play. Uh, another Wii U title. Oh, Disney Infinity Edition 2.0. Rayman: Raving Rabbits 2. Uh, Lord of the Rings: Ag Aragorn's Quest. <laughs> I read that as Agarorn. I got there. Uh, Battleship, just straight up Battleship. Iron Man 2. Uh, Balloon Pop. We Play Motion. Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D's Dual Trancer? Trancer, Trancer. I thought it was Transfer, but it's not. Trancer. This looks fun. Uh, Cabela's Adventure Camp. Oh my goodness, Cabela makes games where you you don't shoot things? Oh I mean, no, that's no, what I no, you no, do. No. Well, it's like skeet shooting, so oh. it's not living things. But yeah, yeah, there's, <laughs> it's actually kind of wild because it's skeet shooting, but it looks like you have a, a double barreled shotgun. <laughs> and I'm like, that just seems excessive for, anyway. Okay, so there's that. Uh, Daisy Fuentes Pilates. Uh, oh, a you draw game. The Penguins of Madagascar, Dr. Blowhole returns. I'm so glad that we, we, I, we, I think we almost have all the you draw games, actually, which is exciting, because I can't wait to play them. Uh, I got some uh, DS games here, Nicktoons Unite, um, Adventure Time, The Secret of the Nameless Kingdom, uh, Disney Princess Enchanted Journey, and then, oh boy, holy I crap. I see this first one and I'm, I'm really excited about it. Cold Stone Creamery, <laughs> scoop it up. It's a zoo game. There's a Cold Stone Creamery game. Diva Girls, Divas on Ice. Lord. Gallop and Ride. These all sound amazing. Hooked Motion Fishing. Smart Series Presents, Jaja's Adventure. That looks amazing. Like, it looks like Animal Crossing, but with fruit. It like, looks like an onion Wadham. and a strawberry. It looks like the new game, Wadham. It looks like the same sort of characters, to be honest. Uh, Madden 11. Rayman Revving Rabbins 1, uh, Astro Boy the video game, Vertigo, probably not based on the movie, uh, SpongeBob SquarePants, Plankton's Robotic Revenge, uh, Jump Start's Pet Rescue, so we got Puppy Rescue and Pet Rescue, uh, Monster High 13 Wishes, uh, FIFA Soccer 13, Spy The Spiderwick Chronicles, Indianapolis 500 Legends, Epic Mickey 2 The Power of Two, Skate It, oh there's a skate game for Wii? That's interesting. Uh, Shrek Carnival Crazy Party, Party Games. Games. Uh, Little League World Series Baseball 2008. Uh, same thing, but 2009. Kung Fu Panda Legendary Warrior. Ice Age Dawn of the Dinosaurs. Uh, iCarly 2. I joined the iClick. Oh, just the click. It would have been better as iClick. Uh, Harvest Moon Magical Melody and Go Diego Go Safari Rescue. Almost threw that on the floor. <laughs> Got it. That is that is a lot of Wii games. Holy crap. And to follow that all up, Poopy. Look at this. Oh, okay, I read that wrong. I read it as poop flavored candy. That's not what it is. Also, how would they make that? I'm not sure and I don't want to know. Vanilla flavored poop candy doesn't really sound that much better, but it is different from poop flavored candy. That's an important distinction to make. Uh, and then we also got uh, sour cherry and sour apple, super mushroom and one up mushroom, very very cute. And then there's the shirts are in here. Let's see. Um, so this is Sonic the Hedgehog, very cool. And Mal, which one is that? I don't. There's three. So there's three shirts. This one Sonic says leave it. Leave this to the professional. <laughs> Hi. That's me. I, I do the video games professionally. And then there's this one. Sign me up on your eSports team. That's a retro Donkey Kong shirt. Very, very nice. That's super cool. Man, Donkey Kong's design changed. Yeah, it did. For the better, I think. For the better. The, the folks at Rare did a really amazing job. And then this is coffee cup warmer. Oh. That's how we fix the, the things with Breakfast Stream. This plugs in and is literally, it keeps your coffee cup warm. It's a, it's like a, like a, I was gonna a say- candle A candle warmer, but for your coffee cup? That, is that a thing? I was yes. gonna say a butt warmer because that's the first thing I thought of. 
the heated seats in the car. Yeah, it's like the heated seats in the car, but for coffee. You could probably keep coffee warm in the car too, but it'd probably spill. Yeah. This seems more more stationary. That that is how you would solve this uh, this problem. I didn't know that this was a thing that existed, to be honest. Neat. Oh, and that must be the button. <laughs> I was like, and there's a button. It's like, well, that's probably how you turn it on. Like, oh, okay. Anyway, um, Anna Crystal, thank you. Sincerely appreciate all these things. Uh, there's so many games. Uh, I can't wait to get them logged into the system. I know that we're... How far are we? I have no idea. Like, on our way... We, have we passed two-thirds? I don't know. I think? I don't know. There's a lot. There's a lot. If anyone's curious to know where we are exactly, we do have a list. Um, it's the list that Anna and Crystal were talking about, cross-referencing, and we always put that in the... Uh, well, I guess I don't always put it in the description. I tried to put it in the description of mail. So at least you'll be able to find that, that link in mail. And it'll show you what we have and what we don't have. But uh, this helps a lot. Sincerely appreciate it. And uh, thank you for, for all of the things. And of course, the, the, the birthday wishes. It's very nice. Our next package is from Jay, Jade, and Ariel um, in Dawson Creek, British Columbia. This is so big. It's huge. <laughs> like, oh god! <laughs> Step <laughs> this is um, this box is big and similar to uh, Anna Crystal's package. It is dense. There's so it much is stuff in very there. Very well. So much stuff. Um, again, uh, Jay, Jay, and Ariel, uh, you are also honorary Tetris champions because this is this is crazy. So let's um, let's start with this. This just says, uh, "Hey guys, ha happy Heart Month! A variety of coffee, a variety of tea." A variety of Kit Kats, a Steven-sized Reese's peanut butter cup, heavy breathing. The newest cereal to hit our shelves literally came into stores first week of February. Enjoy. Well, thank you. I, I, I sincerely appreciate it. This is, there's so much stuff here. Um, let's continue with the stuff on the top. There's a note here from Ariel. It says, note. Notes. It says, uh, hello guys. Uh, as you can slash will see, I made Kepler and Sagan as magnets. I drew them first from memory because I was watching uh, funny videos. Uh, the second time I used images as a reference. Enjoy from Ariel. P.S. I also made Rocco. Okay, well, I gotta see these. Look at these. Oh. Look at them. Look at these. They look so good. I love it. I love it. Thank you, Ariel. And there's also... There's also this drawing. It says, Happy Valentine's Day from Ariel. And it's Mal with a paintbrush and me with a controller. And I'm wearing a plaid shirt, <laughs> which I really love. <laughs> Ariel, I appreciate this. This is wonderful. Thank you so much. This is great. Um, and there's so much stuff in this box. Uh, so, oh wow, oh my god. That is a half pound? I feel like that, I feel like that should be illegal. Like that's against some sort of like health code somewhere. But I'm so glad that this was, this was snuck through customs <laughs> so I could enjoy it. This is crazy. I'm curious what a serving, yeah, okay. I was like, what's a serving size on a half pound peanut what, butter cup? Much? A sixth, a sixth. Yeah, a sixth of a minute is about how long it's gonna take me to tear into this thing. This is amazing. I don't even know what else is in here, but when you said a Steven size, like Reese's peanut butter cup, I was thinking, what, like, what does that mean? Like. Yes, yeah. Mal, Mal's, Mal has like normal size hands, so that's a better indication. My hands are very large. Um, this is nuts. Anyway, I'm fixating a lot on one thing when there's so many <laughs> other things, but I've never seen this before, and this is so heavy. For people that live in the grams world, 226 grams. So, it's heavy. Everyone else, a half pound. It's called a half pound. So you, you got it. All right, um, man. All right, let's continue through this. So we got arrow. Um, there's truffle, and also dark mint. Arrow are good. Arrow are good. And um, they used to never be in the states. Mm -hmm. And I've seen them in a few places in like the last few months. Like we can find them in like 
the International Isle at Publix. Yeah, International Isle like has a, a few a things like that. British section and like an Indian section. Uh, we've got uh, green tea, and then it says the vert, which is might be French. Is French that French for green? Okay. And the is te. T. Got got it, <laughs> got it. Trace bien. Um, there's uh oh my god. What? what? Okay, okay, this is exciting. So there's uh, little, like, the the little individually wrapped, uh, like, chocolate eggs that you would get for Easter. There's that, but there are Rolo, Kit Kat, Coffee Crisp, and Smarties. Not the American Smarties, like the Canadian Smarties. This is great. And they're, oh. like, in the egg. And they're, oh my god. Oh, I'm so excited. This is, this is, this is gonna sit, no offense to you, this is gonna sit on my desk. Don't I get to try them? You get though? to try some, and then then you can have the rest. Then I'm gonna eat all of them because I love all of those flavors so much. Uh, holy crap! Uh, mint Kit Kat, and it's like duo. It's like a duo thing where like half is mint and half is chocolate. Uh, cookies and cream. Oh, this is different. Have we had orange? I don't think so. This I don't think we've had orange. Just straight up orange. And then earlier, Bradley sent us peach. We, we're we slowly doing all of the Animal Crossing flavors, Mallory. <laughs> That's what's happening. Uh, white and milk. So much, so much good Kit Kat stuff. These look really good. Oh my God, there's so many tips. Hold on, there's more stuff coming. Uh, this is Kit Kat Minis White. With white chocolate? With white chocolate. There is, oh, oh man, it's more arrow, uh, dark and white. And then these are, oh, these are the Chunky Kit Kats. Uh, salted caramel fudge and peanut butter. Peanut butter sounds real good. And it's one I get to try alone. Don't worry, I'm sure it's that fun. there'll be a thing that I can't have. Or we can just make something Because mine. it'll have rum raisin in it. Uh, so we've got, this is called Kicking Horse Coffee. And it's ground coffee, sweet, smoky. Can I smell? About this blend, if there's something worth doing, we think it's worth doing great. This remarkable blend of beans is the spirit of Kicking Horse Coffee and a bold innovation to, to wake up and kick ass with us. I like it. I like it. Roasted in Canada. Fantastic. Thank you. Um, sorry, we're, there's still so much in here. We're working through it. Uh, we've got, oh, that's Ooh, a cool idea. Good. Arrow truffles. D cherry. Yeah, and they're they're dark cherry, and they've got the little arrow like aerated chocolate, mm -hmm. and then the cherry. That's a cool idea. Canada's got Those some neat really stuff. Good. Canada's got some really neat stuff. And this, I can tell by looking through this, this is real. This is real. Uh, yep. Yep. Look at that. That's the real stuff right there. Uncle Luke's organic. Biologique Canada Grade A Dark Robust Taste. And this is 100% pure maple syrup. That's the real stuff. This is the real stuff. Oh man, this is so exciting. Especially because uh, due to the virus, we just bought a bunch of pancake, a bunch mix. Of pancake mix. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, that's really exciting. That's really exciting. Uh, pancakes are great. Pancakes are great. The waffles are fine too. They're all good. Just anything that you can put maple syrup on. <laughs> also, shout out to everyone who's shouting at me for using one syllable in that word. Mal's been working on me for years to try and get me to say it with two syllables, and it just has never happened. Uh, we've got Tim Horton's tea. What? They make tea? They make tea? This is uh, an orange pico blend. It's black tea. Neat. I did not know that this was a thing. I like on the on the the, Cana the, the Canadian the Can side. <laughs> <laughs> there's English and there's Canadian. On the French side, it says uh, "te infusé." I tried. I tried. I can only I can only read other languages as if it were like Spanish. I'm like that's that's the best I can do. So they also have green tea. I didn't know that Tim Horton said tea. Green tea. Uh, honey lemon. Ooh. Peppermint. On the other side, I read it as menthol, and I was like, that's a really interesting choice. No, it's it's peppermint. 
<laughs> I was briefly You're gonna start doing Duolingo French. I yeah, I need some help. Uh, we got more of the arrow truffles. This is the milk chocolate ones. Um, ooh, apple cinnamon <gasps> tea. Ooh. ooh, that sounds good. Holy cow! Uh, then we've got some Tim Hortons coffee. This is uh, this is the mix pack that's got all the different things: uh, original Colombian dark roast, French vanilla, and bold roast. Awesome. And then some extra uh, espresso roast. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Ooh, I bet this is really good. We've got a little a little jangle toy for Kepi. 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 Kepi, what's He's this? He's sniffing something. <laughs> He's like, what's all this stuff on the floor? Kepi, look what I got here. Kepi. This is for you. See how it dangles? This is for you. That stuff on the floor is not for Kepi. Yeah, you can't play Wii games, buddy. I mean, maybe. It <laughs> seems like it would be really hard, and it may, may not be worth pursuing. Come here. Look, what's this? You like that? Jingle, 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 boop, boop. <laughs> Let me put that over here. There's still more stuff in here. Just like, there's there's so much what? stuff. These, because we heard we heard some liquid in here. These are uh, these are very well sealed, and there's no no leaking in here. These are iced coffees. Ooh. Ooh, Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons, what have you done? Um, iced coffee. It's a cappuccino. So one says iced coffee. One says cappuccino. One's a double double. So these are all like different types of iced coffees that are gonna go into the fridge because they're gonna get consumed very quickly. And then this is just, I think, a repeat, so we can each try yeah. our own. Ca uh, cappuccino, double double. Oh my god. Also, <laughs> it's also a cat toy. You set and sail for an adventure. <laughs> um, and then I, th I think I've gotten through the entire box except for. And if you didn't think that this box could get any more Canadian, <laughs> I've I, I've got bad news. It can. Look at this, <laughs> Tim Bits birthday cake <laughs> and chocolate glazed. That's incredible. They're donut cereal. They're they're based on the donut holes on the Tim Bits. And look at the packaging design. It's so good because it replicates the little handle. This is incredible. It's actually, um, it's actually really good timing. Not only because, uh, you know, because of the pandemic, we're inside and we're <laughs> eating. A trying lot of, not to go grocery shopping. Trying not much. to go grocery <laughs> shopping. The other, the other good timing is that um, we actually haven't had cereal in a bit, and we just picked up some milk and cereal, so we have milk, mm -hmm. so we can actually try these. Oh my goodness, I am. I'm so excited about this box. You have no idea. This um, is really exciting. Like, not only do I have Tim Hortons coffee to drink for... A while. A while. And there's chocolate and tea. I can also drink the iced coffee and the and tea. And we have real maple syrup. Real maple good syrup. Stuff. I get to try Timbit cereal, which is wild. Um, thank you all. This is, this is incredible. And, um, you know, I have gotten some very Canadian packages before. Um, this this might be the most Canadian, especially because there's so much stuff that like Tim Hortons does. Yeah. That I didn't know. I didn't know they did tea. That's new for me, and I certainly didn't know about the cereal. And Kepler thanks you for the box. Oh, you like the box, buddy? It's just the right size for Kepi. Just the right size. Oh, I gotta go find that toy now. Anyway, again, Jade, Jay, and Ariel, thanks. Appreciate it. So our final package is actually two packages, and I don't know that they're together, but I presume they're together because they're from the same address. So there's a smaller box and a bigger box. We've opened the smaller box, and we're just gonna see... Okay, I don't see any sort of leather. I don't either. So let me open the other box, and then we'll uh, see if we can find the leather. And this box... Is really big. Is real big. Like, I don't know if I can adequately explain how big and heavy this box is. Like, it's, oh, it says on it, it's 42 pounds. Or, fun math problem, 84 of these. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I suspect that the leather is in this one. This is from uh, Reynolds in Clayton, North Carolina. And, um, you know, just give me a sec. 
Got it. This is a heck of a box, and I have 42 pounds just resting on my... And like... Uh, yeah, I mean, they can... Well, they can only see to here. Well, there's a lot. All right. Hello, random friends. Uh, it's your favorite leg-crushing, goodwill-hunting video game drug provider. The leg-crushing part is very accurate right now. <laughs> As I pull things out, I'll, I'll be less crushed. Hope your holidays went well. This package was filled by the time this, uh, the season came around, but since I spent all my money on Christmas gifts, I couldn't send this until much later, so here's your late Christmas gift. Before we get into the package, I have to tell you a story. In the June mail video where you opened my last package, you mentioned the skateboard accessory for the skate games. At least, I think it was the same mail video. The funny thing was that we saw one at Goodwill the day before the video came out. When I saw it, I didn't think you would have cared to get controllers or accessories, so we passed it up. After the video came out, we went back to see if it was still there and it was gone. I know now that I should probably pick up these accessories if I come across them. In fact, I did pick up an accessory. As for this package, as you can probably tell, it's bigger than the last one. What's worse, there was so much, plus the accessory, that I had to send two boxes. I did my best to not pick up duplicates, but it still happened, mostly because I found one in better condition. There are a few in the wrong case and some in spare cases. There was a stack of games without cases being sold as one set. You also noticed some additions. First one, you probably noticed at once. I mean, how could you not? Uh, I put the game uh, on top on purpose. I know you don't really collect PC games, but how could I pass this one up? The second is the two Skylanders packs. I know one of the games I had sent you previously, but since they were packs, I thought they would be a better addition to your collection. The last one are the guidebooks. We have a used bookstore that we go to and browse for D&D books, and hardbacks of the Dresden Files books were missing. Um, while we were there, we found some guidebooks you might be interested in. This won't be a regular thing. In fact, we're starting to cut back on Goodwill purchases. We're going to start focusing more on unique finds, since we pretty much find a Madden or similar sports game every time we go. Anyway, that's it for now. Sorry for breaking your legs with heavy boxes. And until next time, don't fall down the stairs. I mean, since the last time I fell down the stairs? You haven't fallen down I the stairs. I haven't fallen down the mm -hmm. stairs. True. So that's good from Reynolds. Uh, Reynolds, thank you. Um, this is a lot. Uh, let's go through the, uh, the immense amount of stuff that's in here so folks know what the there is, and also so I know what there is. Uh, and then as I do it, I'm just gonna move it over here, and I think that that'll work. So again, what is the, the PC game? Well, it is of course Deal or No Deal. It's a DVD game. Yeah, it's, it, yeah, it's not even a PC game. It's, you play it on a DVD player, which is nuts. Like, those were a thing. They were so briefly a thing. But because DVD players were, you know, media that you could interact with, you could essentially play a game, and they did it. And that's that's crazy. All right, so there's that. Uh, we've got uh, Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights, PS2, um, NHL 08, NHL 07, NHL 07 again. I mean, we were warned that we're, there would be some duplicates. Uh, NHL 06, NHL 2004, uh, Rock Band, uh, NHL uh, 2K10, the Rock Band, the Rock Band says open me, and inside is cars. So I have a feeling that there will be quite a few that are um, a little bizarre. NFL Game Day 2003, uh, NASCAR 09, NASCAR 06, uh, NBA Live 2001, NASCAR Chase for the Cup 2005, MX Unleashed, uh, MVP 06 NCAA Baseball, Monster House, uh, Major League Baseball 2K5, Madden 08, Madden 07. I'm just gonna like kind of ra quickly, I said raffle them off. That's, what's the word when you quick with the? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't either. Madden 06, there's a word and the commenters will help me find that word. Madden 06 again, Madden 05, Madden 04, Madden 03, uh, Lego Indiana Jones, LA Rush, Horse Says with a Z, uh, NBA Live 06, uh, NCAA 08 Football, NFL Q, QB Club 2002, let's go over onto this side, Transformers Fall of Cybertron, uh, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, NBA, NLB 08 The Show, uh, World Series Poker, uh, Disney Infinity 2.0, uh, NBA 2K11, Major League Baseball 2K5, Rock Band, uh, NCAA 12, uh, NCAA 11, NCAA 09, uh, MLB 12 The Show, Madden 12, 
uh, NBA 2K13, NHL 12, NHL 08, Jerry McGarth's, is that McGarth? McGrath's uh, Supercross World, the History Channel made a game and it's called Civil War, uh, Happy Feet, FIFA World Cup Germany 2006, I play ESPN 2K5, uh, High School Musical 3, Dance Factory, Dance to Any Music CD. Oh, that's a neat idea. Why didn't they do that sooner? Uh, Dis uh, Disney Revolution, Dance Dance Revolution, Supernova 2, Conflict Desert Storm, uh, SSX3, uh, SmackDown vs. Raw 2008, SmackDown vs. Raw, it says 2009, but then it has a post-it note that says 2007, Sing Star Country, uh, there's NCAA uh, 08 or 07 March Madness, Rock Band 2. We're getting there. Uh, there is some sealed DS games, Fossil Fighters, uh, Plants vs. Zombies, Space Invaders Extreme, Turn It Around, Turn Around, Arctic Tail. Hold on, there's more. Uh, but wait. But wait, there's more. The Skylander Swap Force set for the Wii. I'm gonna sit now on the face. She's fine. And Kepi. She, he's fine. The Skylander Supercharger set for the Wii U yeah. that comes with the Donkey Kong amiibo, which is actually really neat. Uh, we've got Toy Story 3, MLB 10 The Show, Minecraft PlayStation 3 Edition, Madden 10, FIFA 15, FIFA 11, Disney Sing It, FIFA 12, NHL 15, NBA 2K16, uh, Monster Jam Urban Assault, which sounds bizarre, uh, Call of Duty Black Ops, Alvin and the Chipman, Chip, Chipmunks the Squeakwool, Adventure Time, Explore the Dungeon because I don't know, Tamadachi Life, this is very fun, uh, Finding Nemo, hold on, we're, we're, we have, have a few more, ATV Quad Power Racing 2, ATV Off-Road Fury, 2, ATV Off-Road Fury 1, American Chopper 2, Full Throttle, uh, ACDC Live Rock Band Track Pack for PS2, Toy Story 3, Space Chimps, uh, SmackDown vs. Raw 2008, uh, Elder Scrolls Skyrim, uh, Skylanders Trap Team, Skylanders Swap Force, Seen It, all new movie clips and trivia, Red Faction Gorilla, Wipeout 3 for the Wii U, uh, Phineas and Herb Quest for Cool Stuff, Tony Hawk's Proving Ground, Nancy Drew the White Wolf of Icicle Creek, uh, EA Active, Just Dance Summer Party, You Draw Marvel Superhero Squad Comic Combat, that's a mouthful, Tiger Woods PGA Tour 10, Sim Animals Africa, uh, Reader Rabbit Preschool, uh, let's see, hold on, Pets Cats 2, uh, Nickelodeon Fit, NBA 2K11, Monopoly Streets, Madden 09 All Play, Disney Princess Enchanted Journey, Dance on Broadway, Chaotic, Shadow Warriors, there's a lot of video games in here. Uh, this is Oblivion. <laughs> Sorry. I just spent the other night watching cl small clips from Oblivion where the game is insane. I highly recommend people just look up, like, weird things in Oblivion because it's well worth your time. Anyway, uh, NCAA, uh, 09. This is NBA 2K6. Uh, Madden 13, Madden 10, Madden 09, Madden 09 again, Guitar Hero Aerosmith, Fighters Uncaged, Fear 2, uh, Fallout 3 Game of the Year Edition, DJ Hero, Disney Infinity, Dead Space, Bioshock Infinite, nice, Bioshock 2, uh, NBA 2K10, uh, MLB 2K8, uh, The Bigs 2, X-Men Legends 2, Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2003, NCAA 06, NASCAR Thunder 2003, this says open me, okay, MX Unleashed, <laughs> uh, MTX Motor Tracks, Mech Assault 2 Lone Wolf, Manhunt, uh, Brother in Arms Road to Hill 30, uh, Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball, Nice. Uh, Madden 2003, and that's it for the games in this box, except for this one, which was hiding. This is Guitar Hero Live, and the two guides, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, and Super Mario Galaxy. However, if you were thinking to yourself, that's all the games, that would be incorrect, because there's one more box over here, and inside is... Kinetica. <laughs> Just gonna keep putting them over here. Uh, Madden XX Years Collector's Edition. Uh, the Show 16 MVP Edition, Dead or Alive Ultimate. It's, I think it's like Dead or Alive 3 Ultimate, but maybe it's slightly different. Uh, Nightcaster Defeat the Darkness, uh, Chronicles of Narnia, Orphan, uh, NBA 2K15, I Play, Supercar, <laughs> that's a great name, 
Ford Mustang. Uh, a hypersonic extreme. And then I think finally. That's it. The turntable for DJ Hero. There's a lot of games in there. <laughs> uh, Reynold, thank you. Uh, the only way I could get through that quickly was to read them off and just move them to the side of the couch. So now there is an avalanche over here that I will have to clean up, but it was the most efficient way to quickly get through that list of games. Um, I sincerely appreciate it. Thank you so much, particularly for Wii, just because Wii is what we're you know working so hard to, uh, to get, and there was quite a bit of Wii in there. And uh, thank you, sincerely appreciate it. Um, we are, we're picking up accessories when we can for the Wii. It's not like do or die for us. Um, if we get to the event and like we don't have certain A accessories, thing, yeah. we're not gonna be like, well, event's canceled. So yeah, yeah. It's, it's not like the most vital thing, but if we have access to them, then we'll try and utilize them. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, this is, I, I was not keeping track. Someone might have been. You can share it in the comments. Uh, this was a ridiculous amount of games. Good lord. It actually, there's so many that they fell towards the door, and I don't know I'm going to be able to open the door until I clean up some of them, so that's going to be a, a whole thing. But I sincerely appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, to everyone... Thank you so much. Uh, this this was a, a really amazing mail month, and it's it's a very weird mail month because again, you've got that very clear divide, and you've got a lot of packages and a lot of letters and things like that that came before, you know, the tragic event that happened with Sagan, and that's okay. And you've got people that have you know sent stuff after the fact, and that's okay. And and I know that there will continue to be that sort of thing happen. I know that there will continue to be people that uh, send sympathy cards in March and that will talk about Sagan or his passing in March. And that's okay too. I, I want everyone to understand that we're we're okay with that. Mm -hmm. um, we have we have spent a great deal of time grieving and uh, we have really worked through that. And while we miss him, and we have continued to miss him every day, um, we get a lot out of knowing that he was appreciated so much. Yeah. And he was. And everyone has made that abundantly clear, and we, we thank you. Um, but to everyone who sent stuff this month, it is incredible. There is so much stuff. There's so much food. There's so much food, and there's so many games. And uh, I'm looking forward to cataloging everything and eating every last thing while we are self-isolating. Maybe not everything. That might be excessive, but a lot a of lot. it. A lot of it. If you're watching right now and you'd like to send something our way, you can. Uh, there's a link in the description that'll tell you where you can send stuff. Uh, we generally open things in the middle of the following month, which means that we'll be opening... Uh, March. March's mail when we get to the middle of April. Thereabouts. The schedule will be a little weird because um, mail is the only thing that we have to physically give to Dan, and that might be a little strange for a while because we're all self-isolating and we don't see him regularly, so we have to make a very special trip. Um, so mail might be a little weird for a while, but we are still doing it. If people are interested in sending stuff our way, we will open it. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for sending stuff in, and we will see you next month for another episode of Mail. <laughs>